Welcome back, Highlighters. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Hallie, also known as the Highlighted Pinup. And if you're coming from TikTok, there's a good chance you heard me talk about these guys. What are they? They're spoolie rollers. And this is the tutorial for it. Finally. Yay. So to start it off, spoolies are kind of a vintage curler technique. Uh, they had they were popular through the 50s all the way in through the 70s. Initially, they were made of rubber. The ones we have now are made of high grade silicone. The reason why I like to use these and I started playing with them aside from a foam roller is because it gives you more of an S pattern and mimics more of a traditional pin curl versus the foam roller gives you more of a perm style or like an ironwork style and it's a little bit fluffier. These are a little more flat. So it really just depends on what kind of style you're going for. I'm using mine in the size medium. They make them in two sizes, medium and large. And the reason why I choose medium is because to achieve more vintage looks and be a little bit more authentic in that era, you want a curl that's no larger than an inch. So three quarters is kind of the sweet spot and that's what these will accommodate. If you use larger ones, you can get a set. It just may not last the entire Entire day or you may not be able to get your set for a couple of days so it's a little bit easier a lot of times to start a little bit tighter in the curl and then to just keep brushing it out some other troubleshooting uh, from playing with these in a couple for a couple weeks I noticed that when I set my hair really really damp or basically wet it wasn't very good. Uh, they took forever to dry. If they dried at all, that's because it's silicone so when it collapses there's no way for the water to escape um, so I started doing it on hair that's more dry than not. And then I always have my lot of body setting lotion in the event I need to remist it. So with these, try to start a little bit drier. Uh, the other thing, watch the direction you're wrapping them in. So my first set was incredible. And then when I went to reset it, the next morning I woke up and I was like, what? happened here uh, and I wasn't paying attention so the direction you wrap these in will impact how your set falls unlike a foam roller as long as it's laying down you're good so those are see those seem to be uh conflicts that I have that hopefully will help with everyone and then just pretty much a wrapping technique which we'll get into all right so let's get started in the spoolies as you can see I set my mohawk or my bang area in the red in the pink grippers because Every time I set my bang in the spoolies, it becomes too much of a styling nightmare for me. I like a lot of height in the bang area, and when I'm using these, it's just too flat. So I'm gonna use them everywhere else, but I just decided to stop punishing myself and try and utilize them in the bang. Uh, and like, so we'll get into kind of wrapping techniques. So like I was saying, one of the biggest obstacles for me was like wrapping everything in certain directions. So I'm gonna isolate this side just a little bit from the rest of the hair, so you guys can kind of understand what I'm talking about. So I know this would be my weak side. It's the side that has less hair on it. It's where it has, has to do with how I part it, all of that good stuff. And I know that I like it to go behind my ear. So when I was thinking of how to wrap it, how do I get it to ultimately go away from my face? So I could have wrapped it back, but that would probably give it too much lift. So I'm going to wrap it on that forward side. So it's about here. I'm going to then twist it down, place it flat. I'm gonna give it another kind of quarter turn so I feel it's tight. I'm holding it at its base and then I'm going to push it down and it's gonna hold. One of the biggest mental obstacles with using the spoolies versus a foam roller is that it's not foam roller tight. So it's not like super crazy secure and that's fine. That's it. They're a different technique. So that's just how I've been getting it a little bit snugger to the scalp without having the same expectation of a foam roller. So again, same thing over here. Get it on space, do a little turn, pop it down, and then I can readjust from there to try to, there we go, to get it to lay on that flatter side. So sometimes it just depends too on where you're pressing it down at. You need to move the hair almost inside the roller a little bit. It's definitely a learning curve and a different technique if you're used to foam rolling, but it's been a lot of fun, and like I said, it's just a different result. So more tools in your arsenal. Here's where the direction you wrap starts making a big impact. So this is going to be isolated because how I style it and get it tucked behind my ear is different than the other side. So with this, 
Whatever direction I choose to wrap this, everything else has to be wrapped that way. So after playing with this for quite a while, I've decided the way I like it wrapped. So sometimes that might just be it too, just figuring out. Take it, I'm going to then get that little guy out of there. Oh. Now this is the, this has been like one of the other ones is I have to switch hands when I do this, which is not something I was super comfortable doing at first. And now I'm like, yeah, just suck it up. You have to, uh, you'll also see here. My sections are fairly large because again, I don't want it smaller than three quarters of an inch for a curl. I want it right around that. So I don't have a ton of hair, so I don't have to take any bitty baby sections. So I'm going to hold it basically parallel. I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to twist it down, get on its base, give it a good turn, push it down. Ta-da! Now on to the back. So I'm going to start at the top because I still work top down when I even use spoolies. The reason why it keeps this hair out of the way of the bottom. So if you start from the bottom up, it can get a little tricky. So what I was saying earlier with the direction, right? So how I know I wrapped everything was it coming forward. So I have to maintain that even in through the back. So when I brush it together, it all goes in one S pattern. So from here, it's a little trickier, but I'm going to just kind of wrap it, get my fat little fingers out of the way, feel secure, I'm going to walk it down, get it on its base, give it a nice turn, push it down. And that's just what I'm going to keep doing. Now the top section, I'm going to curl, or I've taken a little, little bit smaller in sections, uh, just because my hair is almost the same length all the way around by design. Uh, so that just allows the top to maintain a little bit tighter curl pattern. So when it has that heavy brushing on it, it doesn't want to just all come out. And then as I move down the head, the back of my head, the sections will get a little bit bigger. So once that seems good, I'm going to then start going a little bit bigger on my sections. And what I mean by that is more deep, not necessarily wider in that sense. And that one's just giving me all sorts of grave. So I saw that that one is having too much of a tail sticking out for my liking. So I'm going to unwrap it. Where are you stuck? There it is. And reset that one. Because that was garbage. And sometimes that happens.
Wah! Here, you guys can see the back. Ta -da! And it's most certainly not as structured as a foam roller set, but that's okay because it's a different technique. It's a different type of curl, all of it. So as long as they're pretty much like hanging in there and they're up a little bit, you should be okay. Uh, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Again, they're not the same tools, so don't expect the same outcome. But hopefully this helps kind of give everyone an idea of how to use them or how I've been using them to get the hair that you've been seeing in most of my videos lately. And as always, if you have any more questions for me, you can leave them here on my TikTok and I will do my best to find them, then do my best to answer them. And the brush out video will come tomorrow when these are dry.